Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a palace's cat. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the bottom right side, draw another circle as a guide for the front part of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Don't overlap the head circle as you draw this circle. This circle should be about twice the size of the head circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. First, make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Make this circle slightly smaller than the circle for the front portion of the body. Inside the head circle, draw a horizontal line as a construction guide to help you place the facial features later on. Draw a short vertical line on the top section of the head for another construction guide. Below the construction guides, draw a small circle as a guide for the muzzle. Pay attention to the size of the muzzle in relation to the head. On the top left side, draw a small arc as a guide for the ear. Draw another small arc on the right side for the other ear. Don't draw the ears too high up. Place the ears closer to the sides of the head. Under the front part of the body, draw a short angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line a couple of times to indicate the joint and foot. To the left, draw a similar line as a guide for the other front leg. Under the body circle on the right, draw a long angled line as a guide for the hind leg. Bend the line a couple of times near the middle to indicate the joints and then again at the bottom for the foot. To the left, draw a shorter angled line as a guide for the other hind leg. Connect the body circles using horizontal lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the lines slightly. On the right side, draw a long curved line as a guide for the tail. Pay attention to the length of the line in relation to the body. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. Place the eyes on top of the horizontal construction guide and on either side of the vertical guide. Pay attention to the sizes of the eyes in relation to the head. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. As you darken the shapes, make the sides point here for the corners of the eyes. The inner corners of the eyes should point down toward the muzzle. Make the tops of the eyes flatter than the initial circles. Use a thick dark line as you darken the outer edges of the eyes. Inside each eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for highlights. In the middle of each eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circles as you shade the pupils. Add a few short strokes around the eyes for fur. Keep these lines close to the shapes of the eyes. Inside the muzzle, lightly sketch a small triangle for the nose. Place the nose close to the top edge of the small circle. When you get the size and position of the nose right, darken the shape. Use a wavy line to darken the top edge. Draw small curved lines on the sides for the nostrils. 
make the bottom tip of the nose pointy. Under the nose, draw a short line for the mouth. Use short strokes as you draw the line for a furry texture. Don't make the mouth too long. The sides of the mouth should be lower than the middle. Draw a series of short curved lines on the sides of the nose and mouth for the sides of the muzzle. Follow the basic path of the initial circle as you draw these lines. The shape of the muzzle should be wide. Below the mouth, draw a series of short strokes for the chin. Follow the basic path of the circle as you draw the chin. Use the arc on the top left side as a guide to draw the first ear. Draw a series of short strokes along the basic path of the arc to create the furry shape of the ear. Use the arc on the right as a guide to draw the other ear. Draw a series of short strokes along the arc to create the shape of the ear. Add a few short strokes inside the shape for more fur. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Follow the basic path of the initial circle as you draw the head. Make the top of the head slightly flatter than the initial circle. Use short strokes as you draw the head for a furry texture. Make the sides of the head wider than the initial circle. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Leave a few gaps as you draw the furry texture. Use the second line from the left that's under the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. At the bottom, curve the shape to the left to create the foot. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use short strokes as you darken the shape to create a furry texture. Make the front of the foot curved. Inside the foot, draw a couple of short curved lines to separate the toes. Use the line on the left as a guide to draw the other front leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Use short strokes to create a furry texture. Draw a short line inside the paw to separate the toes. Draw the legs short. Use the angled line on the far right side as a guide to draw the hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. Make the shape wide at the top and then gradually make it thinner toward the bottom. At the bottom, curve the shape to the left to create the foot. When you get the shape of the hind leg right, darken the lines. Make the tip of the foot round. On the tip of the foot, draw a couple of curved lines to separate the toes. Use short strokes to create a furry texture. Use the line on the left as a guide to draw the other hind leg. Sketch the leg lightly around the guide and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Make the tip of the foot curved and add a couple of lines inside to separate the toes. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Darken the outer edges of the guides using short strokes to create the furry shape of the body. Use a continuous line to darken the top edge of the body. Make the strokes longer at the bottom for shaggier fur. Use the curved line on the right as a guide to draw the tail. 
draw the shape of the tail around the guideline. Use short strokes to create a fluffy texture on the furry tail. Make the overall shape of the tail thick. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Draw a couple of thin stripes under the eyes using a dark value. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to a darker value. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Add a few spots on the forehead using a dark value. Use short strokes to draw the pattern. Shade the rest of the head using a medium value. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the fur. The fur on the head radiates outward from the nose. Leave the muzzle, the bottom part of the head, and the area around the eyes blank for white fur. Add a light value inside the eyes. Shade the rest of the body using a medium value. Shade the body using diagonal strokes. As you shade, separate each stroke a bit so that the white of the paper comes through and creates a furry texture. Add a darker value on the tail to create a striped pattern. Use a light value to shade the legs and paws. Use a darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Add a few stripes and spots on the body using a darker value. At the bottom, draw a cast shadow using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the palace's cat. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.